<laughs> so, Leanne, you back at the track? I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's four degrees. Yeah. He's soaking up some sun here. Yeah. So, are you excited? Yes, I am. What do you think you're going to do today? I'm not, I'm not too, too sure. sure, I just hope, hope I get a clean run as well. At least, at least for 10, another 10 second pass. What's up YouTube? Welcome back. I know it's been a while. I do apologize for lack of content. Um, well, I have <laughs> quite a bit of reasons as to why I've been so inconsistent with content. But um, this is probably the reason for this video. So I can explain to you guys. Um, Okay, firstly, uh, my reason for the big delay is my laptop broke and I was without any uh, equipment to do any editing or so on. But I have been filming along the way, so at least I can bring you guys back up to speed with um, what I've been up to and what what I'm currently busy with at the moment. Um, so, okay, I'm going to start off with the CRX. So, obviously, as you guys know... Um, the car now is officially a 10 second car um, For some weird reason I don't entirely feel like satisfied with it um, Only because I know like in my heart I didn't get like a solid run out of the car um, Because of, of small issues I've been having with this car With um, like you guys know the RPM, the tackle meter wasn't working um, and then eventually we found out the, the two-step wasn't um, disengaging and eventually I realized why that was my issue and why it was affecting me the whole time so obviously with the two-step uh, it needs to see your front wheel speed and your rear wheel speed so uh, my rear wheel speed all this time um, wasn't really picking up the, the, the sensor itself wasn't picking up so I only got to find that out on my last event and also Another issue with the car, uh, at my last event now, uh, recently, um, on the line, my first attempt at testing the car now, hoping that the, the two-step issue was, was solved, uh, I broke second gear. As you all know, I do launch the car in second gear because uh, I still have a stock transmission, so uh, my first gear is way too short. Uh, that just ruins the run and uh, to be honest with you, why I end up launching the car in second is so that I could minimize the, the risk of Missing second gear after launching in first. So um, it ended up working out for me. It was much better. My 60 foot obviously won't be what I'd hope it would be, but it's definitely way better. That's how I managed to pull off the time. Um, so yeah, we're sitting basically now with a broken gearbox, <laughs> broken second gear. Um, and I mean, before, like, let's say the PE event. Um, on the dyno I broke fourth gear so I know what my problem is now with the gears uh, that are failing on me and that's obviously um, due to the fact that the engine is making way too much power now for the stock gearbox to handle so I'm basically forced to get something off the market now to uh, obviously accommodate the, the power figures and so on so yeah and I'll show you let me show you what fourth gear looks like <laughs> This is literally a run towards, say, 5,000 RPM, and then, boom, it stripped the teeth off completely. So, yeah, this is basically the issue I'm sitting with now, currently, in the gearbox. So, second gear, I'm assuming a chunk of it is missing now. Sorry for my voice, um, I was a little under the weather, so I'm still recovering at the moment. Um, so yeah, like the car is standing here, second gear is still broken. Uh, obviously, she still runs and whatever. I do have a video of that um, that run, uh, the single run I took at Kilani. Um, so I'll definitely add that in there now as well.
quite a bit of footage of that day so besides all my um negativity <laughs> i do have uh some footage of of um most of the other guys at the track that were breaking pbs um i do have an in-car as well of um sean zurich he actually um basically broke his own record he's the fastest uh frontal drive nationally aspirated uh, honda in the country and i think if i'm not mistaken sean's previous best was a 9.4 and sean is now on a 9.3 so um, i was at least uh, lucky enough to get that footage from him so i'll add that in the video as well So I'll get some footage. Pit crew member, number one, foreman. <laughs>
that's that's it for today i know it is a, a quite short uh, video but i just wanted to give you guys a little update and say uh, i am still here <laughs> but yeah i did like i said i i've been up to quite a bit and luckily i have been filming it so i did manage to get myself a new laptop now so i'll try and be way more consistent now with uploading content and so on also another thing i wanted to know um you, you guys can let me know in the comments down below if um you like the idea of let's say for instance if i were to be at the track um not only will i film what i'm up to at the track and what my day is like if it's okay with the drivers around me if i could be able to film them as well because we obviously we all know spectators aren't allowed still at the track so if i can give a little window of, of opportunity for you guys to see what their day is like as well um i mean that will be fun so if you guys are happy with that then i'll be more than happy to to actually give out more content very similar to this um especially when it comes to the racetrack so for now thanks for watching um hope you guys enjoyed the video catch you guys soon